Here we're going to look at soil fertility and what kind of defines a soil as being fertile. A lot of times you may hear that, this is very fertile soil. Well, what's that actually mean? Here we'll look at some more of the details behind that. So in particular, the definition of soil fertility is the ability of a soil to sustain agricultural plant growth. And this is by supplying essential plant nutrients and water to allow not only the plant to grow, but also reach reproduction, reach its full life cycle. This can, has to occur also in the absence of toxic substances, which may inhibit plant growth. So the higher a soil is in soil fertility, not only is it allowing for plant growth, it's allowing it to uh, reach the phase of reproduction, but there's also uh, an absence of harmful uh, substances. Now, there's several conditions that contribute to soil fertility, such as root depth, drainage, soil moisture, proper pH, and nutrients. This gives you just a little bit of the soil profile. The horizons O or organic is at the very top. A is very near the surface. The B is the subsoil, which is pretty much the extent at which the roots will reach. Uh, C, the substratum, is where roots are not going to reach. And then R, we have as bedrock here. Now, looking particularly at root depth, uh, sufficient soil depth for adequate root growth and water retention. So you want to make sure that the soil is not just, you know, very shallow. Uh, that can cause some issues with plants as they develop their roots. See kind of a profile here of a soil, and this is a tree. And uh, we can kind of see that they... Uh, that root depth not, may, doesn't quite go as far as some may think, uh, but is definitely taking up a large area, allowing for adequate nutrient and water absorption, as well as anchoring this plant in the ground. Then there's drainage. Uh, good drainage should provide aeration roots. Here we see a pitchfork being uh, plunged into the soil here. We can kind of break the soil here and help increase aeration. Roots need to respire, they need to take in oxygen, they need to breathe to grow properly, so we don't want them soaking in water for a long period of time. Uh, for most plants, that's not going to be a good result, so that's going to be evidence of poor soil fertility. We have soil moisture, so we do need to have some moisture in the soil, and that is um, soil in the root zone needs to maintain a proper moisture. This means it's not waterlogged or it's not too dry. It's kind of that nice, even amount. The physical properties of the soil can impact this, such as the particle size here. How many large or small particles does it have? Kind of is that sandy, that clay, um, gravel-based? That can really impact the ability for a soil to maintain moisture levels. Then we have the proper soil pH. So soil pH in the range of 6 to 7, and favoring that slightly acidic to neutral is preferred. And this is, again, speaking for most plants. There are a couple plants, uh, for example, like blueberries if you're growing in, they're looking at much more of the acidic range here. And asparagus can uh, tolerate soils above 7. So we're just looking at this pH range, typically right around neutral, most nutrients are available to plants. So that's where most are going to prefer, 6 to 7. The nutrients that support plant growth, we want the optimum rates of nutrients that are plant available. So what this term plant available means is that the plant can take them up. Some soils for um, different properties or different issues may have a high amount of nutrients in them, but they might be here, here the term called their locked up nutrients. They're nutrients that aren't able to be pulled out by the plant. So we want to have that kind of that maximum growth, maximum yield. We want to have those nutrients being highly plant available, which often is provided through a proper pH of the soil. So just a couple things that help contribute to the term soil fertility.